so I don't know why this is called Rando Slap, but okay. It's a collection of maps that show some genuine effort into showing something new or rarely seen in Half-Life maps slash mods, even if they're not always the best. The name is a meaningless reference to an old Ashens video, which is where the logo came from. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, I've set it up as a way to alternate between real maps and novelty maps, even though this is just a suggestion. <laughs> But yeah, there's even a custom menu screen, which is nice. And, uh, yeah, I didn't really know what to name it. I named it Interesting Half-Life Maps, but I probably should have did something a little bit more eye-catching, like cringe tristing or something. But we're going to go through and check out the maps. I love Half-Life Maps. This is one of my favorite segments I've done historically, so... Hello, Hello, and welcome, and welcome to, the to the new Black Mesa Hazard Course. Due to fundamental changes in the nature and the direction of the Black Mesa facility, we have revised and relocated the Hazard Course to suit our new purposes. Begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it suspended in this plate. Then, meet me around behind the plaza. Okay, uh, let me just make sure the volume is good. Get that down a bit. Um, so this is called Twisted Hazard Course, by Gib Maker. I still have so much nostalgia. The drug known as nostalgia for these Half-Life graphics and classic Half-Life textures. The first move we will practice is basic jumping. Run up the ramp and jump from one vehicle to the other. Sometimes, you'll have to rely on more than just your suit to get you through a tough spot. Try opening the door yourself, and you will receive a painful electric shock. What you really need to do is shut off power to the fence from the box here. What, what did I just miss? to engage trains or vehicles press your forward I rerouted the power and no no I didn't do anything wrong it's fine press your use key again to disengage from the train activate your suit flashlight for the next area I thought for sure this was going to go through the wall and pulp the scientist I need to lower the volume a little bit more. Just a little bit more, like another 10%. Okay. Why is this game adamant that I accidentally kill scientists? Crowbar is a very useful tool for smashing through locked doors, debris, and stubborn security guards. Can we do this later? Part of the training regimen. Welcome to the Black Mesa target range, where you will be instructed on how to cause damage to various kinds of things. <laughs> Pick up the pistol and all the ammunition if you haven't already, and look through the oh God, are you place to shoot everything you see here. I wonder if I should run that again. What's everything? As I expected. Where'd that toast just go? It's it's still kinda loud, yeah. Why is this what is that happening? Huh. Also, let me turn auto aim off. Now, try your hand at some moving targets. 
Careful. Oh Some my God. fight back. Really? Oh my God. If it has to be done. Nice job. Nice job. You look prepared to handle some more high tech weaponry. Oh, my God. <laughs> loudest game in the world, I guess. I've lowered it so much! Uh. Hello, and welcome to the new, the new Black Oops. The hazard course. Due to fundamental changes in the nature... A am I doing... Uh, Im impulse 101 first, and then uh, or oh no 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 SV cheats one, and then no clip. I, I didn't think I would be dying in a hazardous training course, so we'll just no clip through this. Oh look at that, <laughs> we we made it here. How do you not know this already? It's not that I don't know it, I just forget. Lots of information leaves my brain because lots of new information enters my brain. Oops. Around the corner you'll see a plunger. impress your use key. Fucking hell. Oh man, I am beansing this. Restart and get the suit? No, it's fine. No, well, that was just my firework stream. Welcome to the new Black Mesa Hazard Course. Due to fundamental changes in the nature and the direction of... Maybe I wasn't supposed to hit the plunger. Around the corner, you'll see a plunger. To push it, face it and press your use key. After that, you'd better hurry. Because you'll only have a few seconds to get out. Just gotta go quick. Gotta go real fast. Come back anytime in your next life. Okay. Uh, uh, Alright. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I did all that no clipping. Commander Keen test level by Mad Carrot. Kind of something to look around at. It's like a Sven co-op map, but, uh, ow, okay. Well, that's an enemy, so this happened a lot when Half-Life 1 was, you know, being modded. I'm sure it's still being modded a lot, but I just remember lots of attempts at making Mario maps, maps and like, uh, Castlevania and various 
sprite-based games in 3D. And it usually looked something like this. Okay. L the length of this map is described as none. Alright. So say it. Map Windy. This one's from Captain P. Hey buddy, I'm Windy. I'm your biggest fan. Literally, haha. If you want to leave, the exit is on the other side. I'm conditioned to want to run away when I hear that noise. That is alien teleports in noise. Check the maintenance area to see what's going on. Okay. Those creatures must be sapping my power. See if you can find a way to kill them. I can feel some power returning, but it's not enough. I guess this is just Half-Life now. Who's speaking to me? Oh, right, the fan. The, the biggest fan, right? This could be the next portal. I wonder if Windy and GLaDOS... That's it. I don't have anything more to say. Yes, all power has been restored. I'm going to lift that drone now so you can get out of here. Isn't Creature Sapping Our Power a third of Star Trek episodes? <laughs> uh, yeah. Kind of. I would say a third, maybe like a second. Careful, or you will be pulled off the ledge. There's a strong windy here, after all. Ha ha. Good luck out there, buddy. Goodbye. Vinny, do you mean a half? I don't know. You tell me. Back rooms. More back rooms. This one's by X-Ray. <laughs> I'm so inconvenienced right now. I am... Annoyed slightly. Mildly perturbed. The problem I have with backroom stuff is if you've watched me play the backroom stuff I have recently, it's very obvious. It's very jump scary. It kind of defeats the purpose. 
it's a cool concept. I just don't know how you're supposed to turn this into a game. I've played, and I know Joel did a collection of backroom games. I don't even know if they were any good, but the ones I played were really, really bland. Much like the wallpaper and rug of the um, backrooms. But yeah, they got very popular, and now people make tons of backrooms games. Back in my day, it was all slender. I thought this said the nad now. It's then and now. Um, by Urba Nebula. An interesting experiment by a Half-Life modding veteran to show a map you made back then and a remake now. Ah, yes, aluminum blast doors. This is just the back rooms again with half-life textures. <laughs> oh, hey, G-Man. Oh. <laughs> Okay. So, yeah, I'm really interested in seeing how this map... This is like a map I would have made, because um, some of you know this. You've heard me tell this story a thousand and one times, I'm sure, but... For those that don't know, I actually made Half-Life maps a little bit. I never released any, but I enjoyed trying to learn. Like, because again, when you had a game in the late 90s, that game would have to last you like a year. So I checked out the map editor, Worldcraft, it was called, and I learned how to use it, and I made a Castlevania map that was not good, and I made some Black Mesa. I love the Black Mesa-themed stuff. So I just stuck with the original textures and theming, because I loved Black Mesa so much. But again, nothing released, and nothing particularly good, and those map files are long gone. That is on some old fucking Dell computer. With, like, a 400 megabyte hard drive. <laughs> okay, more than that. At least... At least a couple more megabytes. This is cool, though. I mean, seeing the progression of someone after 16 years of making maps... Going back to their early map in Half-Life and trying to do something a little bit more atmospheric. Do you think they're at the Staten Island dump? There is a chance. There is a-, a ch there's actually a chance that it is... Ah. In the old Staten Island dump, which is now a park. And that future generations... ...are gonna play on that park... ...like 30 feet above my Half-Life maps. What if someone falls in? Uh, I don't think there's much of a chance of that. Love that. Please, Valve, never fix that.
You should do a Half-Life map-making stream. Oh, dude, I have no idea how to use Worldcraft anymore. I was awful at it. Like, I had no idea. That was my first time using anything like that. And I didn't even know what prefabs were. And also, at the time, it wasn't easy to find and download them. So I just made all my own stuff. And it looked... it was... it was awful. Um... This is a problem. There's a health pack where you found the crowbar. I, I don't know, I kind of want to live dangerously. Is it F5? It's F6 to save? Aw, oh, shit. Aw, oh, fuck. It's F6. God damn it. Press F5 instead. See, more more things, like, here I am talking about how much I played Half-Life, and I'm like, is it F6? Wonder, is anyone noticing micro-stutters? I hate to complain about it during a Half-Life stream of all things, but... Um... Alright, never mind. I can't help but notice sometimes, and it, it it's like... My instant... Uh, reaction is, my computer is fucked. And, to be fair, earlier this year, my computer was fucked, and I had to build a whole new one. Ow. Who's screaming? My name is John Jumpscare. No, I got this. I got this. Dog. Dog! I got this! I was wondering how they were going to do the water sequence. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. It's just a burst pipe. Oh, and a little bit of water there. Perfect. Th now this is how you do a remake. This is better than Final Fantasy VII Remake. Five health, fuck you. I do like the HD model of the, the weapon so much better than the Glock. I really do not like the way the original Half-Life Glock looks. It's like very crusty. Um, and I actually hated the Half-Life 1 pistol sound for a very long time. But now I've grown to appreciate it, even if it is blown out and loud. It's weird. It's not, like, impactful, but... It's unique, at least. It's very memorable. Oh. Great. Some of the HD models don't work for me. Like, I don't like what they did with the MP5. Oh, okay.
Well, hey, I thought that was a cool experiment. Good to see a map in 1999 and then 2015. Good for me. This next one's called Meat World. What, chat, what do you see with your elf eyes? Do you, do you notice anything strange on the wall already? I wonder if he's about to go to the Fallout TV show set. Why is this crowbar so thick? That, that's what I'm saying about the model. Some of them are cool, and then you have thick crowbars. Guess we're going to Meat World. Why, though? That's different. <laughs> oh. Oh, fuck off! No! I gotta start saving, like, on every map. Alright, we'll run through this real quick. You like to get Vinny, the picture. Vinny, use the pic- it, Nothing. <laughs> nothing happens! Okay. F6. Saved, dude. Save right here, too. Ugh. I wonder what that noise was. It's like Saul Rosenberg from the Jerky Boys, I think, if anyone remembers that. Is this the meme? Like the, the, the dude from the, the, the fucking... What's his name? It's the meme. But with Germa. Yeah, the Incredibles dude. Germa becomes uncanny. You've gone too far. Okay, thank you, Matt. That's very kind of you. Um, next is... Map Nether O One Meat World was by Truck Stop Santa Claus. This one's from Mr. K. A remake. Whoa. A remake of a map from the leaked Half Life 2 beta by none other than the series creator Mark Laidlaw. Wait. Huh. I don't think. Yeah, Laidlaw didn't actually make this, but someone, this nether person was like, I'll, I'll make it in Half-Life 1. Also, just on a side note, I think most of you that are here are probably, like, used to this by now, but you know not every Sunday is going to be Tubby Custard and Corruptions. Like, sometimes we need to do chill Sundays, because, truthfully... Without peaks and valleys, you just have the gray man. Which is just a nauseating romp. Well, that, and also, I mean, if you have something as good as Tubby Custard or Corruptions and you want to submit it, I'm open. I'm open to suggestions. You go to vinesauce.email and then use the contact form there and uh, let me know what you've got for Sunday stuff. But I also just like checking out random things that I enjoy. 
that I have interest in. No! 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 Get it off me! Get it off! Get it off! Yeah, that was definitely gonna happen. Commercial streams. People like them commercials. I have more, and I could definitely do more commercial stuff. But the and I know people have told me, Vinny, don't even bother with the YouTube poops. But that's some people's favorite part of the segment. <laughs> And, uh, the problem is the YouTube poop creator, the- the thing is so bad that... And by the way, all of that got claimed because there was something in the YouTube poop creator that was setting off copyright. Of course. It just- it- long enough time scale, everything is gonna be claimed, but, um... It's a really, really shitty program that does not work well. It only works about 10% of the time. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Ah. Oh. It's not because of the poop creator? What was it, Johnny? Was it just a copyright troll? Vinny, just tell us the ads will do the magic for you. <laughs> I mean, I'm open to, uh... custom YouTube poops. But... that would take some... It would also take a little bit of... Oh, there's the G-Man. It would also take a little bit of, uh... coordination. So let me- let me think about how to do the commercial stuff from here on out, because... If the poops are annoying for some people, but other people like them, I- I- and they're annoying for me to make... There's gotta be some figure- way to figure this out. Without it becoming like a huge amount of work to sort through a bunch of YouTube poops. And like someone sneaks in like a single boob. You know what happens when you get single boobs. The stream gets banned. Half-Life 2 beta, Mark Laidlaw's Icky Pop. So this was, um, this video was included in the, um, the, the text file. What the fuck? There he goes. Goodbye, space cowboy. Fecal rain. Okay. Here's the G-Man. It's see you, Space Cowboy. That's the line. Well, considering I've never seen it... I got close enough. So long, Space Cowboy. Goodbye, Galaxy Varmint. Later, universe var um, uh, universe uh, vagrant. You're gonna carry that weight. That's a Beatles song. Why? Why is it that anime just loves classic rock? You need to go see chat. If you like anime that likes to reference classic rock, you need to listen to classic rock, and you need to then be called, um, a boomer by your audience on, uh, Twitch. Now that's the good shit. That's what you want. <laughs> Rube. 
Goldberg by Alabaster Twab. Security lock disengaged. It's a Half-Life Rube Goldberg machine? Massive books. Wow. Can't believe they did it. The old drop a piano on the player bit. Haphazard by Cy War Veteran. Sorry, I'm on duty, Mr. Freeman. It's the icky pop. Okay, I'll take those weapons. Thank you. The vending machine has been acting up again. Please fix. Thanks, Dr. Pickman. Dr. Pickman. Excited to see Walt and uh, Jesse cook tomorrow. Nope, no way. Doing all right in, in there, pal. Nope, no way. Agreed. What the fuck is this? save my game every time I do a new map. I fucking keep forgetting. Save, dude. It's the vending machine from Astral Chain. Walter. Walter, I dare you to kill the fish. If not, you're a chicken. Like, of all the names that it could have been. If you're reading this, then the specimen is dead. Good luck explaining that one to the administrator, dumbass. See you next Tuesday, don't forget the stakes. P.S. Have you heard about the weird sounds coming from the vending machine? Shepard. Comical meat bones.
It's gone. A lot of Half-Life 1 custom maps <laughs> uh, that I made and like stuff that I saw that was like kind of amateur was very claustrophobic like this. Not to say that that's not the intent here, but yeah, I had a habit of when I was making maps to, for things to be completely cla uh, claustrophobic. Give no room for the player to walk around. All of Half-Life 1 is pretty claustrophobic, though. I mean, at, yes. Not all of it, though. There's outside segments, there's the dam. There's the cliffside. There's some larger rooms, for sure. Maybe compared to some other first-person shooters that are more recent. This is nonsense. The teleporter was supposed to send me to Zen, not the sewer. Where the hell is the exit? Me again. They keep coming. One bullet left. I'm taking the easy way out. P.S. What's behind you? Fuck you, note. I mean, I'm open to meme maps, but I also like seeing, like, short, well-done ones, too. I wouldn't mind doing more Half-Life stuff if, if anyone has any maps from back in the day or any newer ones that are, like, funny for the stream, but also stuff that might be interesting, like a good mix like this. I, I definitely do more Half-Life segments. Uh, Half-Life 2, also. And Half-Life 3. Like, if you got Half-Life 3 maps, I'll play those. Yeah. Not just maps, but also really interesting mods. Plenty of those. Half-Life was like... Buy one game, get 50 games, and then some. For the amount of stuff that you'd get if you downloaded the mods for it. Quake 1 as well, yeah. Qu Quake 1 had um, the original Team Fortress! One can only hope we will get more Quake. Yeah, I guess Sven Co-op is pretty much, when it comes to Half-Life 1 stuff, it's just got everything. It's got well-made maps, it's got... like, Mario Brothers, it's got that cartoon shit. It's got everything. Ah! What about the They Hunger trilogy? I didn't like it, weirdly enough, when I played it. I thought it was okay, but it, it didn't... I tried to get into it, but I couldn't. I don't, I don't really know why. There was the Tetris map in Sven Co-op. I mean, when Jolly was a guest on the stream, <clears throat> we did a lot of fun Sven Co-op shit. Map Labs? What is what is that? Mat like Matlock? Like my tape of Matlock? Uh so wait, what did I do here? I'm weirdly confused. Oh, it's it's in here. Is that the spirit of this Barney? Okay. Oh, okay. 
No. 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 Oh. What do you think these things smell like? I'm just asking for a friend. Oh, for fuck's sake. Need a key. Ugh. Like, when you go to an alien world in a video game, sure, it's all well and good. You're in, like, a spacesuit sometimes, but what if you're not? And you have to, like, breathe in the atmosphere. Like, that shit must fucking stink. Just any random alien world that you get dumped off into from a portal. Why are you invincible? What the hell? Killed by viruses instantly. It's War of the Worlds, man. They had that concept down in the fucking 50s, or whenever War of the Worlds, the first one, you know, not the Tom Cruise one, that, that was... Tom Cruise runs from aliens in Bayonne. Alien viruses most likely won't work. I wonder what alien food tastes like. Really? Really? Is there no VOD again? I'll publish it after this, but just so you know, um... If you missed it, the reason that there haven't been VODs is because there was a copyright troll that has a thing... Basically, they rap over video games and claim it as their own whenever someone plays said video games. And Twitch will delete the VOD. They'll actually mute the segment of the stream, but then rather not delete it, but they will keep it unpublished. It seems. For all these buttons. Fantastic. Well, it looks like we won't be working together. I want to go through the door of light. Okay. Uh, okay, good mix of, of gameplay in that one, and also a couple of just bizarre, like, what was the vending machine? Did, did that subplot go anywhere? Why was it wacky? This one is 1985 Honda CRX by Sorry. A nothing map just meant to show off a car prefab. I only included it because using the doors can destroy the animations, which is mildly an which is mildly amusing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it it's mildly amusing. I I chortled. And when are we going to get cars that have doors that open to the inside? Oh no, we have a... Uh, okay, okay. We have a big raid on the way. Holy shit. 
do you think they'll enjoy watching me mildly having a chuckle at opening a door? I'll just do this several times and maybe I'll entertain these these nice people that join that are looking for entertainment like first class high quality entertainment. Oh my god. How many people are we getting? <laughs> 22k? Oh, okay. Well... This is all I've got for you. Oh, 15k. Alright, that's very- no pressure. This is fine. I'm used to it. It's great. I like pressure. Uh, unfortunately, the animation is all I've got in regards to entertainment. I should have saved Morb Sweeper. Play the map with Jerma's face on it. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Put on Grey Leno. <laughs> yeah. Hang on, let me get the Grey Leno video up. Ah, you have one of the new ATV suits. That should be very useful. Good timing. Hello, Raiders. Uh, Jesus Christ, thank you, Jerma. You, you don't know how much I appreciate this. Tonight is a chill night. And, uh, we're just doing some random Half-Life maps. Nothing weird or out of the ordinary. Just, um... Just going through some maps that were compiled. You know, they're, like, interesting ones. Stuff that shows off, like, various mechanics that maybe we haven't seen in Half-Life. There's a car with a door that's broken. We were so entertained by that car for, like, 25 minutes. 30... 38 minutes of entertainment watching the car door open inside the car. But, no, thank you very much, and welcome... Welcome, rat friends. You know, nothing, like, too exciting here tonight, but, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Wait, who, who's this? I'm going to show you the second best map. Here it is. This is what level of excitement we have here tonight, everybody. Check this out. This is a 1985 Honda CRX. You can open the door. You can get on the floor. You can do the dinosaur. Look at that. But here's the real feature. Have you ever seen a car door open on the inside of the car? True entertainment. Let's see. All right, next map is uh, I have to type this out. So it's map, comp, 35, underscore, herba, nebula. Easy. Easy name. Alright, so this map... 
made for a map competition for the 20th anniversary of Half-Life. It didn't place due to being too slick. I feel like I might have played this. You lost 5,000 people opening the car door. Oh no. <laughs> By the way, why would a map that's too slick lose a map competition? That doesn't make any sense to me. No, I haven't played this. No, keep in mind though, too, like people... People like, kind of leave from raids. I'm assuming the car door opening wasn't enough to banish them. But then again, I don't know, some people might just get really upset at watching a car door open improperly. It was a five hour stream and my mind is melted, says a chat member. That's okay, let me help. Please know we just had five hours of this. Okay? <laughs> well, thank you. Again, thank you for joining. And, uh, if you don't... Listen, if you don't want to watch more video game stream or more insanity, I understand. But we're just playing through some Half-Life maps. Now, if I had corruptions, like I had a couple weeks ago, that probably would have been a little bit more... ...of a thing. That or Tubby Custard. If you don't know about Tubby Custard, let's just say... ...it's not FDA approved. If it's anything we've learned, it's that. Oh, there it is. most realistic plants I've ever seen in Half-Life. No, I mean... A little tubby custard never hurt anyone. Oh, apparently... Actually, here's something funny... that's also kind of recent, is... I think it's fucking Burger King, or one of the fast food like, chain places, the big ones, is actually doing a tubby custard promotion where if you get a happy meal, you get a little, like, cup of pudding and it's just pink tubby custard. Maybe it's old? Maybe this is something that someone presented to me as if this is happening now? But... It's probably just that pink sauce shit from TikTok that's not FDA approved. this into existence. Something tells me that was an old promotion, and I was just seeing it for the first time. Oh, hello, scientist. Remember, this didn't win a mapping competition because it was too good? Secure override accepted. Vinny, my dad keeps asking me about that band that played in the car. How do I tell him? Whatever you do, do not tell him a YouTuber made it. Or a Twitch streamer. Just say it was from the 70s or something. 
say like uh, John from Pink Floyd started this band like one day, you know, and and then they released a bunch of music. There, by the way, there was no one named John and Pink Floyd. But just say John Floyd made a band, and uh, it was on in the car, and I hope you enjoy it, Dad. And then you say, you know what, Dad? We haven't had a lot of chances to connect, and I know we've had our differences over the years. And I'm trying to find ways to connect with you, because truthfully, we come from different worlds. And you may not understand my world, and you don't know what kind of stuff I'm into. And sure, I like a little bit of hentai from time to time, but that doesn't mean, Dad, that you and I can't get along. In fact, I went to Spencer's Gift, and they told me to get a cock ring for your birthday. So, you know... I wanted to really connect with you, and play some music I thought you might like. New viewers... ...instantly gone. Alright, listen, I, I feel like now I kinda need to explain what I'm talking about. I went to get a Father's Day gift, and I went to Spencer Gifts... Spencer's. And the truth is, I thought Spencer's gifts from back in the day had, like, novelty gifts. Like, you know, they have fake poop, whistles... <laughs> uh, they had, like, over the hill, like, you're old now kind of stuff back in the day. And, like, packs of fake cigarettes. Now, it's a little weirder. But anyway, I'll tell you about that in a second. I was looking for just some kind of Father's Day gift or a card or something, because I was there anyway. Even though I'm like, wow, this place is mostly just weed and sex stuff. So I asked the dude, I'm like, hey, I just wanted to get a gift for my dad. And, um... Okay, so I just randomly happened to be standing by some cock rings. But he goes, oh, well, dude, if you want to get your dad a cock ring, you know, they're right there. Got various varieties. I'm like, no, 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 definitely not my dad. Nope. All right, my dude, uh, w what do you think about, um, this pecker sword? I'm like... Like, do you have cards? Or just something kind of funny? Or like, something like that? Get him a strap on! My dude, listen up! It would make for a great gift! This is a real story, by the way. Now, he didn't specifically say strap on, but the dude actually did try to recommend a dildo. I think he kind of thought I had, like, a joke relationship with my dad. Like, you know, clearly, I'm at a Spencer's, so that's what I'm looking for, right? Like, and I'm standing right by the cock rings. There was a part of me that was like, this is fucking weird, why would you say this? And another part of me that then looked over and saw, oh yes, I am asking a dude in a cock ring store for a Father's Day gift. So... I mean, who's to blame? Weird story. And then I left. And... And then I, I never went back into Spencer's ever again, probably. I don't know, the story hasn't ended yet. Who's to blame? Society, yeah. I thought that was Germa up there first. I... That last map really primed me. Uh... Like, what's happening? Am I, am I lost? Am I stuck? Oh, I get it. I get it now. What did I get him? A card and beef jerky. I don't know. Just... Seriously. <laughs> I just... Just the most basic shit possible. I mean, it was good beef jerky. It wasn't like poop... ...beef jerky. It wasn't like, you know, Walmart. It was actually, like, interesting, high-quality shit. Something. Uh, chat, I gave up. Listen, I was so distraught after the cock ring incident that I just kind of gave up. And I just said to myself, you know what? This is gonna take a couple years to process. Hollow Knight. 
Okay. Button says Amogus. No, it doesn't. It says A Morris. Don't do that to me. Chat member. Hang on a second. No, that's not the right video. Hang on. Sorry. I, I meant to do this instead. Wait, what the fuck? It's not work. Why is my soundboard not working? Alright. That's all I want. I just want to do like half the Amogus sound. Because it really isn't... Like if it said Amogus, I would have played the whole sound. But considering it was only like kind of like reminiscent... It wasn't, like, worthy of the whole sound effect. Also, you'll notice on the Twitch Clip channel, we are getting those perfectly timed Amogus clips in. It just keeps happening. <laughs> to be fair, though, that first thing I did in Live Alive was pretty much just Among Us with a story. The joke was ruined two years ago. It's, it's a zombie joke at this point. But, weirdly enough, my top clips on the clip channel are either Dragussy, Clussy, you know, the predictable stuff, and perfectly timed Amogus. Just saying. Who are these lads? T. Howard. Give a rundown of every single joke you've ever made to the new viewers. Alright. So, when something spins really quickly... Yeah, that's it. Okay. I don't know, I mean, it's... It's not really much to say. There's only 12 years of obscure little, like... Stuff like werewolves. So, I mean, it wouldn't take too long to explain. Probably just a couple weeks. Alright. Um, well that was a actually a very good map. I agree. So this is, um, map LDSF. Don't know what this is, going in blind. It's an old map, that much I know. I don't understand. Stop. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Just remember, this was an MP5 in a previous life, but for some reason the HD model pack was like, nah, it's an M16 now. Again, some of the HD models look good, like turning the Glock into a Beretta. I think this is a Beretta. I think it's a good choice. The shotgun looks cool. I think the, um... Pretty much everything looks good at the very least, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> what is this fucking map pack? Oh, it turned into an M4, okay. Of them were government property. As for the suit, I Are you floating around? It. No regrets, Mr. Freeman.
Okay, thanks. Good, good map. Map signs. So the MP5 has a grenade launcher in Half-Life, so they probably said, you know what? We can make a map. A map. We can make a model for a weapon that actually has a grenade launcher, therefore it makes more sense. But there was a charm to an MP5 with a grenade launcher. It made no fucking sense, but it looked awesome. A map meant to simulate PS1-era stealth games has some neat touches like soldiers falling in overboard when killed, but very flawed. Very difficult without god mode, so don't be afraid to use it. To beat the level, you have to kill everyone, destroy the radio, blow up the pipes in the ship with satchels if you run out. Weapon satchel. So, they want me to god mode this. Probably not gonna do that. Probably just gonna go on to the next map. And considering we have a lot of time left, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do next, chat. I had, um, the surprise was the Morbius thing, but in case I finished and still wanted to stream, I had a couple things. I wanna show you Render 96. For those that don't know what that is, it's Mario 64, the PC version. I'm finally going to do it um, with realistic graphisk and various other things. So I've never played it before. I've been avoiding it because I didn't want to get the project shut down. <laughs> I'm serious because it looks like maybe this is just me and maybe I'm overstating my importance, which, you know, I do sometimes in my fucking head. But... I've noticed that sometimes I will stream a fan project and then it gets shut down not long after that. And it could just be paranoia. It could just be because other people are playing it too. But I wanted to wait a while with Render96 and it seems like it's kind of fully established and not going anywhere. And people with like really, really large audiences, like way bigger than mine, um have streamed it and played it, so I'm gonna- I'm gonna check it out. Miyamoto is a long-time subscriber. Oh, thank you, Mr. Miyamoto-san. Uh, does anyone remember this? From another game? I'll give you a hint. PS1. I'll give you a hint. 1960s. Miyamoto's favorite stream was Toilet in Wonderland. He was right. A remake of a map from LSD Dream Emulator. This is by Reasonable. Dying at Sea was too much video games. LDSF was Slayer A. Sorry, I didn't say that. Nothing to do but neat to look around. Okay, Black Mesa Christmas. So we're getting a Christmas in July special. Black Mesa... Xmas. Hmm. Ah, hello, Gordon Freeman. It's good to see you. This should shake up those grand unification boys, hmm? From the creator of Life's right. End mod you played. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. All right, do you got nothing, huh? Okay. Actually, let me reload the map because I'm supposed to talk to a scientist for fun. It says here, talk to one of the scientists, go through the maze, and do the thing. Please, leave me. You'll just... I can't be bothered right now. Aren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Sorry, sir. I've got to stay at my post. Okay, no, we're good. I talked to everyone. Okay, so maze. Excuse me, Gordon. We have to pick up. What the fuck? Are you sure we're going the right way? What? 
to pick up. Wisely done, Mr. Freeman. I will see you up ahead. As I expected. Okay. Uh. Is it their presence, or are these actual, like, people turned into blocks? Ah, it's good to see you. It's from Life's End. Do you remember the box people from the hallucinations in Life's End? I don't remember what I ate for dinner today. I remember what I ate for dinner. I Yeah, no, I'm, I remember. A little hyperbole there, don't worry about it. Hyperbole? No, that that was it just exaggeration. What did I eat? I, I made peppers and onions and I put it on sausage and I put them in, in a sandwich. I had sausage and peppers because I'm, as you know, an Italian-American in here in New York and um, I don't know, I just, why not? Sometimes you gotta eat healthy, you know what I mean? G-Man doesn't like to dance. Please. Leave me alone until after the experiment. Is your arm broken, Barney? Well, these maps are really, like, just... Very, very short. Bowie World. Okay. A remake of a classic Worlds map. No DMCA 2 music, however. Huh. Oh my god, yet again, I find myself in Worlds. The second time this year. There was a VR chat remake of uh, the landing page. It's the Hand Garden! Oh my god. Talk about burst of nostalgia. I mean, this isn't really the Bowie section of the game, though. This was not overly Bowie-related. Walter. My name isn't Finger, Walter. You want more FOV, chat member? Oh, I guess this is Bowie World. It's the Ziggy album. It's... I don't think I've ever seen this picture of David Bowie. What the fuck is happening here? I went through an Egyptian phase. That is, a uh, Man Who Sold the World. For those that don't know what Worlds is, I'll explain. Give me a second here. Uh... Worlds.com was, like, Second Life in 1999. And David Bowie actually supported it. And there was, like, a world of his stuff. Like, you know... Promotion stuff, music, etc., etc., and uh, yeah, it, it was something I found years ago, and I went into it, and it became like a video of mine that was weird. It was just me exploring like an old abandoned internet chat room, except it wasn't abandoned, and there was people still there, and probably still there to this day. And it was one of those things that kind of opened my eyes to like. Oh, right. There are thousands of things that are no longer, like, currently supported, that people just stay. They just are there. Or, even more interesting, totally abandoned, like, internet graveyards. So this seems to be a remake of that stuff. So we're getting a history of Bowie. By the way, this is not 1960s Bowie. That's Diamond Dogs era, I think. Or like, it, at the very least, that's like, Ziggy into Diamond Dogs. So... 
Uh, oh, that's a weird gif. Someone said, who cares? Mate, I'm just telling you. <laughs> that's Man Who Sold the World stuff. This is 80s Bowie. Or... Is it... No? I think this might be Berlin Trilogy. The Heroes. Is that really all they have for 70s? Like, they're missing... The Thin White Duke. They're missing Ziggy. <laughs> What's happening here? Oh, okay. Real David Bowie in chat. According to his name. Here's 80s Bowie. Just one pinup photo from 87. That's fine. Uh... Okay, a good chunk of 90s stuff, at least. Which I think is underrated Bowie. I hate 80s Bowie, except Let's Dance. Not hate, but... Will not listen, unless... Coerced. Um, love 70s. Every album he put out in the 70s, I pretty much love. 90s had some decent stuff. I think it's underrated. But it's, you know... Also, I count uh, Scary Monsters as uh, a 70s Bowie album, even though it came out in 1980. Wow, you can buy all this. The world's first NFTs, everybody. Buy. I was actually, for a second, I was genuinely afraid to walk into the buy because I thought it would automatically take me to some, like, weird webpage and, like, charge my account. As if I was actually in the game. What? Is this, like, real-life merch? that they sold in Worlds? I guess, it, I guess it was. Can't show that. Whoa! Oh, it's a tail. I think it's a tail. I think this is his art. Like, in his, like his later years, he did a lot of uh, paintings. No, it was a, it was a tail chat. It, you can see it was like spiked. No, it was spiked at like a devil tail. See, it's fine, totally fine. I can stream that. That's not gonna lead to a copyright strike or anything. this fucking model. Okay. Oh yeah, I've been here. In the actual worlds. This is an extensive remake of this stuff. I think this is the winner for me tonight of all the Half-Life stuff I've done. Like, there's some cool short experiences. A couple actual decent... Decent pieces of gameplay. And there was the car. This would be an amazing Sven Co-op deathmatch map. <laughs> Someone said, you know what? You could turn this into a full-on Half-Life map with enemies and objectives. Just random Bowie noises. Well, this is what people did. Like, someone said, I'd love to hang out here with friends. This genuinely, like, people just did this in the late 90s. This was Second Life. This was VR chat. It was crusty, but it was kind of innovative for its time. Someone just said, David Bowie, question mark, the meme school man. That's him. I like that now there's a whole generation of people that just know him for having said meme school. Well, Second Life is, like, full crust. I'm not gonna take away the crust factor from Second Life, but this being an early example of that... 
the actually I would say for worlds the worst part of it is just the controls. It did not have any of the graces of modern gaming. It was kind of a nightmare in that sense. Can't wait for VR chat to become one of those abandoned games. You know what's funny though, chat member? I was not into VR chat for years. Having gotten VR and checked out VR chat, the amount of work people are putting into it, the level of fucking like skill, it's off the charts. People are recreating like games in VR chat. They're doing giant maps. They're doing like, um, there's a first person shooter in VR chat that they're working on realistic gun physics. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's getting kind of crazy. Um, hang on a second. GL texture mode in order to get the look. So I actually didn't do this right. What I was supposed to do was this. GL texture mode. Wait, how does this... Oh, that doesn't matter now, I guess. It's fine. Um, it's supposed to turn the textures into just pixelated stuff, so that is supposed to make it look more like actualworlds.com. Something is behind you, says a chat member. No. Good japes, though. I respect the hustle. All right, so that's the Half-Life maps, everybody. Um, this one was cool. Actually, there is one more map. There is one more. Oh, tell me, chat members, you like cards? Thank you, random person who submitted these maps. Um, they weren't, like, laugh-out-loud funny. They weren't, like, tremendously long maps, but some of them were pretty interesting, so I appreciate it. I'd love to check out more Half-Life maps um, in the future. If anyone wants to submit a pack, if you have some weird ones, Sven Co-op, whatever, I'm into it. I love Half-Life stuff. It's one of my favorite segments. This one was cool because it had stuff that was newer. I had stuff from the past. It had the car. It had David Bowie World. Not bad. All right, let's check out Render 96. I'll try my best to explain it, but essentially it's Mario 64. So... Here, let's do, uh, before we do that, of course, we have to do the Better Call Saul. 